upload a completely normal video. And in less than a minute, it transforms into something that looks like it came straight out of a Hollywood movie. Today, I'm testing one of the most powerful tools I've seen for AI video editing, and the results are genuinely unbelievable. If you're interested in AI video tools, get ready, because what I'm about to show you isn't just a filter or a small enhancements. Today, we're diving into one of the strongest new tools in the world of AI video editing, Kling 01. And I'm accessing it through Higgs Field, which now gives you direct access to this new generation of AI-powered video modification. Think of it this way. Just like Nano Banana gives you powerful image editing, Kling 01 gives you that same power, but directly on videos. And that's where things get crazy. Before we jump into the breakdown, let me explain something quickly. Kling 01 is not a tool that just generates new footage. It literally modifies your existing video, backgrounds, lighting, clothing, objects, atmosphere, all while keeping your original motion perfectly intact. And today, I'm not just showing pre-made examples. We're going to test everything together step by step, and I'll be trying out six core capabilities that make Kling 01 completely different from anything else out there. Capability 1. Scene Replacement And the first capability in Kling 01, and honestly, one of the ones that surprised me the most, is Scene Replacement. The idea is simple. You give it a normal video, then you provide a reference image of a different environment, and it blends your subject into that new scene as if they were actually there. Let me show you exactly how I did it, step by step. First, we go into Higgs Field, switch to the Video tab, and inside the Models list, you'll see the new tool, Kling 01. Just click on it and uploaded the video inside the Upload Video section. Next, in the Upload Images and Elements area, I added a reference image of a neon Japanese street at night. That's the environment I wanted the scene to move into. Then, I wrote the prompt. And honestly, all I typed was, replace the background with a neon-lit Japanese street at night. Keep the original subject and motion exactly as they are. Blend lighting and atmosphere naturally. Before generating, you'll also notice something called Auto Settings. Here, you can choose your duration and aspect ratio manually. But for this test, I'm keeping auto settings on, so Kling 01 handles everything for me. Once everything is ready, you just hit Generate Video and waited around half a minute. And the result? Take a look. The original video was in a completely normal setting, but now, the man is inside a neon Japanese street with fog, lights, reflections, and the motion stays 100% identical to the original. Honestly, this is wild. Now let's move on to capability number two, Relight and Atmosphere. For this test, I used a very simple daytime clip, a teen sitting on the floor holding a tablet. Nothing dramatic, just a soft, natural light shot. Then I added one reference image to show the mood I want, a warm backlight and a darker, cinematic environment. By the way, adding a reference image is optional. You can also describe the lighting in the prompt without uploading anything. But personally, I prefer using a reference image because it gives Kling01 a clearer visual example of the mood I want. It makes the result more accurate and more consistent. So here's what I did. I uploaded the original daytime video. Then I added one lighting reference image. For the profile I wrote, turn the scene in at video one into a cinematic night interior. Add a warm backlight behind the subject and keep all original motion exactly the same. And here's the result. Same girl, same tablet, same movement. But the lighting, the mood, everything has changed. Kling01 transformed a simple daytime shot into a dramatic, cinematic night scene with perfect motion consistency. Now let's test capability number three, camera angle change. This feature lets Kling01 reinterpret your shot from a completely new angle, as if you had physically moved the camera when recording. And when it works, it feels like magic. But let me be completely honest with you. My first attempt didn't work. I tried using this video right here. I asked Kling01 to shift the angle to a wider, more frontal perspective, but the model kept the original framing and barely changed anything. And this is an important point. Camera angle changes depend a lot on the structure of the original shot. Some clips give the model much more to work with than others. So I changed my approach. Second attempt, using a better video. I switched to this clip. This time, the model had much more context and space to reinterpret the perspective. So I used this prompt. Prompt. Reinterpret the shot in at video 1 from a new, wider, front-facing camera angle. Keep the subject, pose, and motion identical. Only change the virtual camera position. And here's the result. You can immediately see the difference. The scene now feels like it was filmed from a completely new camera position, and I didn't move a single thing in real life. So here's what I learned. Some clips simply work better than others. 
If your first attempt doesn't fully respond to the angle change, try switching to a shot with more spatial depth or more visible background. In many cases, the second try gives you exactly what you want. And honestly, this is one of the most mind-bending capabilities so far. Now let's move on to capability number four, outfit replacement. This capability lets you change the subject's clothing in a completely natural way, while keeping their identity and movement exactly the same. The idea, you upload your video, you provide a reference outfit, and Kling Zero One seamlessly adapts the new clothing to your subject. For this test, I used a normal clip of a guy working at his desk. Then I added a reference image with the outfit style I wanted, a darker, cleaner, more modern look. You don't have to add a reference image, but I like using one because it gives the model a clear direction and the results become much more accurate. Prompt I used, replace the outfit in at video one with the clothing style shown in at image one. Match the colors, texture, and overall design while keeping the original motion exactly the same. And here's the result. And here's something interesting that happened during my own test. When I tried using a reference image, it didn't just change the outfit, it actually changed the entire person, including the face. But when I removed the reference image and used only a prompt, the result was completely different. The original person stayed the same, and only the clothes changed. So this was just my experience while testing this capability. In my case, the text prompt only approach worked better for pure outfit replacement. Same video, same movement, but the outfit has completely changed with clean, realistic blending into the scene. It's a simple capability, but incredibly powerful for creators who want fast visual variations without extra work. Capability five, add objects and VFX. For this capability, I wanted to see if Kling Zero One can add new objects into a real video and make them look like they were actually there from the start. So I took this dramatic, intense shot of a man who honestly looks like he's about to fight the universe. So let's give him something to hold, just to calm him down a little. The idea, I uploaded a video, then I simply described the object I want Kling Zero One to add. My prompt, add a futuristic metallic device in the man's right hand. Make the lighting match the room. Keep the original motion exactly the same. No reference images, no 3D models, nothing. Just the video and one sense. And here's the result. Kling Zero One added the device, matched the shadows, matched the reflections, and blended it perfectly with his hand. It honestly looks like he was holding this thing the entire time. And at least now he looks slightly less angry. Now let's move on to capability number six, object removal. And for this one, I decided to try something very simple, but very tricky to do manually. I used this clip of a woman writing at her desk, but she's holding a pair of glasses in her hand. So I wanted to see if Kling Zero One could remove the glasses completely without affecting her hand, her fingers, the shadows, or the motion. I uploaded the video and I just asked Kling Zero One to remove the glasses and reconstruct the hand naturally. Prompt I used, remove the glasses from the subject's hand, reconstruct her fingers naturally, keep the lighting, shadows, and motion exactly the same. And the result honestly surprised me. The glasses are gone, completely gone, and there isn't a single trace left behind. Her fingers look natural, the shadows are untouched, and the motion is exactly the same. It looks so clean that it feels like she never wanted the glasses in the first place. This is the kind of edit that would normally take a roto artist hours, and Kling Zero One did it instantly. After testing all six capabilities, here's my honest impression. Kling Zero One doesn't just let you edit a video, it lets you recreate the video however you want. For creators, brands, advertisers, filmmakers, this is a massive step forward. If you want to try Kling Zero One yourself, you can access it directly through Higgsfield, and I've placed the official link in the description. It always includes the latest discounts and the newest offers, so you can get the best deal available. And by the way, if you want to see how far Image AI has evolved, I recently reviewed Nano Banana Pro, which you can also access through Higgsfield. I'll leave that video on the end screen so you can watch it right after this one. And if you enjoy deep AI tool breakdowns like this one, make sure to subscribe. There are some massive videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.